Assalamualaikum uh, and a very good afternoon to everybody. Um, jadi untuk video hari ini, saya akan tunjukkan uh, berkenaan dengan soalan nombor 28. So this question you may refer to the buku tutorial page 118. Jadi untuk soalan ni kalau you tengok, you baca, dia minta you sediakan output. Jadi, in order to write down the output for this uh, program segment, my, I am strongly suggest untuk you buat counter table. Sejujurnya so, memang tak ada markah lah. There is no marks allocated for the counter table. Okay, markah hanya untuk the output but in order to get the correct output, you may use the counter table. There is um, more than one method lah. Ada setengah daripada kawan you tak guna counter table pun dia boleh dapat jawapan. Up to you. But the counter table usually is for the beginner. Now let's start to prepare for the counter table. Okay so usually bila you nak buat counter table. Biasanya apa yang kita fikirkan ialah ada berapa banyak kolom yang kita nak tulis. Kalau ikutkan style I. I memang akan go line by line. So which mean you kena kira lah ada berapa line ni. 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ok, so ada 11 column. Jadi, ikut. You write down the variable here. This is B, C, D, K. So, I am now finished with this. Now, continue with the condition here. Greater than 0. Then we have another A here with the process. Okay, write down the variable. Here, I tak tulis pun A equal to 1, B equal to 2. Okay, hai hanya tulis apa yang melibatkan dengan variable kecuali bahagian condition lah. Okay, continue. Okay. And then we have the output. which is C, maknanya dia akan tunjuk value and then dia ada ni which mean dia ada sedik, ada space kat sini then D, tak cukup ni so this one pandai lah, you letak lah dekat uh, atas ke ok, uh, yang penting all together there are 11 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 Okay, jadi uh, yang I tunjuk kat you ni, I dah ubah lah. So, actually kalau you rasa macam tak cukup, apa pandai lah. You padam dan you betulkan ikutlah macam mana kesesuaian. Tapi, uh, bear in your mind lah. Tak ada markah untuk counter table. Melainkan soalan memang minta. Jadi, um, I baru saja selesai untuk tulis the column. Okay, and then baru kita go line by line. You just assume lah yang you... Run dan dia akan read line by line. Okay, dia start dengan sini dulu. So, 1 is assigned to A. 2 is assigned to B. 3 is assigned to... 3 is assigned to C. 4 is assigned to D. 5 is assigned to... Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I baru sahaja selesai dengan line yang ini. Okay, so that this is what happened. Go line by line. And then after that, we are going to check K is 5 greater than 0. Then, if the answer is true, then baru kita masuk looping. As you know, all this is inside the loop. It's only happen if this condition is true. Okay, so now since this is true, we are going to continue with this line. Okay, masuk dalam looping. Okay, so you check B is what? 2, B is 2, C is 3, so A now is 5. Or else you not tulis dia punya... B is 2. Okay, nak tulis specific boleh. Nak tulis macam tadi pun boleh. So, since I show you, I rasa I tulis macam ni lah. Okay, and then C. 
you refer C kat sini lah. 3 is assigned to T. A. A sekarang berapa? Jangan tengok A kat sini. A sekarang kat sini. You tengok ini sebenarnya untuk A. Sekarang A dan B dah diupdate dengan nilai baru lah. Okay, by this time. By this line, untuk yang looping yang pertama, D no more 4. D is 3. Okay, A dah bukan 1 tapi jadi 5. So, this time, C akan jadi 5. We assign with the new value of A. And then, C, tengok sini. Okay, no more 3, it is 5. So, 5 with the space, D is 3. Hmm, macam ni. Okay, now we are here untuk looping yang pertama. Then, we are going to update the K. K, 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 K. So, K is 5. By this line, K5 minus 1 which is 4. By this time, no more 5 here. Now, the K is 4. So, that is what happened for the first looping. Looping yang pertama. Okay. Then, once we finish with this line of coding, kira last lah. Since this is a repetition, what happened, dia akan check sekali lagi. Selagi ini bukan false, ini, ini, nampak ni, ini bukan false lagi tu, dia akan kembali ke sini untuk check. Okay, by this time, K is 4. Greater than 0, masih lagi true. Masuk looping, okay. So, B here forever 2. Nampak, nilai B tak berubah pun. Masih lagi 2. So, ambil 2. Tapi C sekarang dah jadi 5. So, jadi sini 7. And then, nilai C is assigned to D. 7, C is 7. And D is 5. Update the key. Become 3. Okay. Second looping. Check. Sebab ini true. Kena check. 3 greater than 0. Masih lagi true. Masuk looping. Remember B is always 2. Cuma nilai C sekarang dah jadi. 7. So this one is 9. 7 here. Okay. 9 here. 9. 7, update, 2, check, true, 2, campur 9, 11, nilai D now is 9, then 11, 11, 9, update, Come on. Check. Always check. Sebab sini semua true. So check again. 2 plus C is 11. 13. So nilai D now. 11. This one is 13. C is 13. 11. Update. Kembali check. Okay, by this time, this is false. Below false, then loop will terminate. Then check. Lepas loop ada apa-apa, nothing. So, which mean finish. So, this is the counter table. Okay, once you do this counter table, I strongly suggest that you write down the output. You need to follow the output given with the ln ke tak ada ln ke ha, that is the that is the uh, the thing that you need to consider so since if you follow here we have the ln so which mean the output will be 5 3 ln mean next line 7 5 next line means new line 7 9 7 okay 11 9, 13, 11. So this is the output. That's all from me. Thank you.